Hi beautiful people, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Aine. I'm going to be showing you in this video how to layer your cakes, okay, with fillings in the middle. Okay, this is my foolproof method to make sure that your filling stays locked in your cake during delivery and even before it leaves your bakery. So the first thing you need to know is make sure you work with chill cake layers, okay? Make sure your cake layers are really chill or frozen. Secondly, make sure that you work with chill or frozen cake filling. So if you're going to be using white chocolate ganache, dark chocolate ganache, or even cream cheese frosting, caramel cream cheese, it's important that you chill your filling before you use it. Thirdly, ensure that you work in a cold environment. Okay, this really does help the process be so much easier and with less casualty, if you know what I mean. So the fourth on my list would be that you want to make sure that you chill your cake after filling before you crumb coat because there is a good chance that your filling can start to melt while on your work table. So as soon as you're done filling your cake layers before you crumb coat, you want to pop it in the fridge or freezer for about 5 to 10 minutes until it is firm. And when it's firm, you take it out of the freezer, you crumb coat it take it back right into the freezer and then bring it out for the final coating. And then you want to make sure that while delivering your cakes, they are sent out chill. This would help your cake to get to the final destination in one piece without crashing on the road. Now it's important that you inform your client to allow the cake tour before cutting into it. Or better still, depending on the distance between your bakery and the delivery location, these cakes may have already told on the road but if it hasn't let your client know that they need to leave the cake out of the refrigerator to tour before cutting it i really hope that this was helpful and if you like this video feel free to subscribe to my channel for so many more amazing videos like this and give this video a thumbs up if you have questions feel free to leave your questions in the comment section and i would answer them as soon as i can Thank you so much for watching my video today and until my next tutorial guys, I'm just going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video.